with Pins and Needles Kits and today we are going to be working on our new panel tote bag and this is one of our own patterns and we have it in three colorways. It's a super cute tote, has lots of room inside, has a pocket, um, has piping and quilting so you learn a lot of different tricks. This one is Howdy by Moda Fabrics and then we also have Eerily Elegant also by Moda and then we have one more colorway. I don't have that bag made. Um, and it's Cityscapes by Cotton and Steel. So let's look what's in, see what's in the bag this month. Oh, <laughs> let's see what's in the box this month. Let's see what's in our box. We uh, busted out of our regular boxes, so we have a lot of things inside this one. Let's open up the polka dotted tissue and see what we have. So this is our third colorway. This is the Cityscape fabric by Cotton and Steel. And so you have three quarters of a yard of the cityscape, uh, three quarters of a yard of the grunge by Moda, and then you have a quarter yard of your accent fabric for your piping. You also get 54 inches of inner form on a roll, shoulder strap cushioning. So um, these, I'm gonna show you how to make some really quick and easy shoulder straps for your bag. You're also going to get the Bozal inner form sew-in foam stabilizer. Um, this piece is big enough to do your bag. And then we have our pattern, which is um, our own pattern, the panel tote. And it's a nice little booklet with full color pictures in it. I hope you'll like that and then um, what you need on the back. You're also going to get two spools of thread. This is Mettler um, Silk Finish Cotton Thread. It's a 50 weight thread. It's really nice thread, one of my favorites. You're also gonna get a pair of tweezers just because we can never have too many cute pairs of tweezers and also we're going to make our own piping so that's what's in our box and then we also send when you um, order from us we send you a little card if you post your projects on our social media we have a drawing so that you can win a gift card so all right let's get started making this bag okay so i'm going to show you first how to make piping your own cording um, you can buy pre-made cording but i really like to make it um, myself so that it matches my bag you can buy this filler cord in a lot of different sizes and um, we gave you 54 inches that should be enough to do your whole bag you're going to cut your strips at one um, and a half inches wide and you'll cut one strip and then a partial of another one. I've just got the one strip here just so I can show you how it works. Okay, so if you are putting two pieces of fabric together, say this was um, cut on the bias, when you're putting the ends together, an, an easy way to do it is to cross them like this. They'd be at a 90 degree angle and it shows you in the instructions how to do this. And then you would mark a line that's a 45 degree right here and you would sew from here to here. Then when you opened it up, you would have this really nice angled seam and when you're um, putting the cording together, it will really hide that seam well. Okay, so you're going to lay your filler cord inside of your, your piping strip and you will pin this or um, you can use wonder clips, whatever it is that you want to do. And we're going to be sewing right along this edge, encasing the filler in the, um, the fabric. You would be using a zipper foot on your machine. Um, and with a zipper foot, you'd move your needle all the way over to either the left or the right, depending on your zipper foot, and sew right along this edge here. That leaves you with about a half inch seam allowance. The other thing you can use is if your machine has a piping foot where it has this nice big tunnel underneath it, you can use that. And what that does is it rides right on top of the piping. You move your needle over and it sews right next to it. So do you see how that goes right across there? So a zipper foot would be a foot that sits on this side. The needle would be over here and would sew. So either way is perfectly acceptable. So I'm going to show you a really easy way to make um, shoulder straps for your bag. We have this pre-cut. This is, I think it's two inches wide. And then we have um, two strips of fabric that we've cut and we're putting them right sides together and I'm going to sew a seam up one side and then I'm going to show you how to put those together. Okay, we've sewn our two pieces together and you press your seam open and you're also going to press in your seam allowance on each um, outer edge. Then you're going to take your inner form and lay it right up against the seam. You want to have about a half inch or so on the end. Fold that over and you'll pull this up this way. Pull this over. and 
it encases the inner form. This inner form is fusible on both sides, so make sure that you um, don't press this until you have it exactly where you want it. So I just keep doing this and clip it all the way down. I love these little clips, they really come in handy. So once we have it all clipped up, we're going to take the end clip off, put the end underneath the needle, and sew right up next to the edge, about an eighth of an inch away. Then we're going to pivot and we will sew all the way up this open edge here to encase it. Taking the pins that clips out or pins as you go. Once you have the side seam sewn, so it's all sewn together, you're going to measure up about three inches, fold this in half, and put a clip in it, and you'll just do that all the way across. And then you start sewing three inches, and you just sew back over that one seam that you just did. Once you've sewn that, you have this open end here. This is the part that's going to get sewn to the bag. And then this part is kind of flat right now, but you can push on it because it's a nice foam interfacing and um, turn it into kind of a tube. So it makes a really great strap. Um, it's easy on your hands to carry it. So that's how I make my shoulder straps. And let's go to the pockets next. So we're making pockets for our, inside of our bag, and you can make them at whatever size you like. I just did these at 6 inches by 10 inches. You're going to cut a piece for the outside of the pocket and then a lining. And whenever you're working with fabrics, like this particular fabric is called Eerily Elegant. It's little chandeliers, um, or candelabras, I guess I should say. Little bats, super cute. But anyway, um, you want to make sure that you're looking at the fabric and using it so that the fabric will be right side up. There's nothing worse than doing a bag and when you get finished your bag is upside down okay so be aware of that when you're working with directional fabrics so we're going to put these two pieces together right sides together both sides facing up and then we're going to sew oh, about a quarter inch seam allowance we're going to start down here at the bottom go around here and stop here so we're going to leave an opening about two to three inches in the bottom of the pocket so when I sew my pockets, if you look right here where I've left my opening, I sewed, I started sewing at the edge, I came up a quarter of an inch and I pivoted and, and continued on. And then when I ended, I stopped right here, I pivoted and sewed right here. What that does is it makes this corner, these corners a little bit stronger so that when you're turning this right side out that you're, you don't tear your fabric or tear your stitches. The other thing it does is when you um, turn it like this, it will make this turn nice and smooth so that you don't get any lumps or anything as you're turning the um, seam in. I also trim my corners at a 45 degree angle and that makes my points a lot sharper. I did not interface this fabric but if you'll put some um, fusible interfacing on the back of the the wrong side of the fabric, um, iron that on and then turn it, it will make the pockets a lot more sturdy. Alright, so I'm going to turn this right side out so you just push that through. If you have a little, um, oh, like a um, chopstick or we use a thing called a purple thing, it's a point turner, to get your points nice and um, crisp when you turn it, that helps as well. So um, I'm going to poke those points through those corners. Of course, I don't have my tool with me to do my corners, but I'll do the best I can. Okay, so the, once you've got it turned, you're going to press this, go to the iron and press it. And then you have this opening right here, and it's at the bottom, which is a cool thing because when you sew this to your pocket, you're going to be sewing across here, down and around, and up. And so when you sew that to the, to the lining, you sew that shut. Once I put this on the lining, I also will either sew a seam, a, a line right up the center, or if you want to make it where it just fits your phone or some particular thing in your purse, you can then measure that and sew it there so that you have two pockets instead of one. So if you want to make more than one pocket for the inside of your bag, you're more than welcome to do that. There should be plenty of fabric in your kit to make however many pockets you need.